This here is the Cunningham raffle guitar for the Handmade Music School. Uh, it's got a uh, red spruce top and maple back and sides. Uh, gosh, what a beautiful instrument. Amen. I tell you what, you cannot beat the craftsmanship. That inlay work and the all the binding work. Gosh. Yeah, Jackson Jackson does it all by hand and you know, he, he takes a lot of pride in every instrument he touches, whether he's building it, repairing it. And this one, you know, it, it's a one off that he has never made another one quite like it and probably yep. never will again. Yeah. Um for the handmade music raffle in twenty twenty three and you know the 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 crispness of the edges, just the fine detail of mm -hmm. like the neck joint and the finish and the binding. Oh, it's perfect. It's really remarkable. It's perfect. I mean, it's, you know, a magnificent tool, but it truly is a piece of art. Playability too, oh, you know, yeah. it's got the neck profile 100%. and more of a 30s slope shoulder type body, but the neck is really comfortable. It's it's not a big chunky neck that a lot of people think of in the 30s and 40s. It's a really yeah. comfortable kind of C profile neck, and the nut width isn't as wide as like some of the 30s, 40s um, dreadnoughts that you think of. It's really comfortable. Yeah, it's yeah. five piece, piece maple, maple neck and. Uh, most of the woods used within the guitar have regional significance to Southwest Virginia. Some coming from um, near Mount Rogers, some coming from uh, the workshop of Albert Hash, yeah, yeah. Albert Hash, and mm -hmm. and his daughter Audrey Hash, mm -hmm. who Jackson studied with and learned a lot from. So, you know, it's not just it's not just woods that were bought wholesale internationally. Right. This is. Right. These are pieces that have been in other builder shops for decades or passed around or given. Uh, and actually the top, uh, Jackson harvested himself from Hall Orchard Mountain. He, he uh, cut yeah. that tree. So some of the appointments on the guitar are new old stock that came out of, uh, out of a well-known factory. And, you know, those, those pieces probably date back to the era that this guitar is emulating, the 30s, 40s. That pit guard and some of the inlay that's oh. used on it is new old stock. So, you know, here again, it's it's a brand new, one of a kind instrument, but it's using elements that have a lot of history to them, um, have been passed on, and you know, a lot of significance. Yeah, so, how fitting. <laughs>